Hello everybody, Danger Dan here, and today I just wanted to talk about my opinion so far on the Gunmetal update. It's been a, a week or something since, so I guess I can have some thoughts now. Uh, there's no sound in the video, I think, because the shadow play is being stupid, but whatever, you'll be able to hear more of my amazing voice. Yay! Okay, so... Um, yeah, there's some stuff about some unusual weapons, but I haven't really been paying, paying attention to the market lately at all, so I don't really know much, but I'm sure you can get some good deals or something. But when I did look to the market, I did see that people will, will, people were willing to pay pure and stuff for that, so that's, um, I think that's, that's good for the economy. So maybe it'll be like CSGO, where there are like thousands of hundred dollar items sold a day. Which, which is good for TF2, well, the economy at least, but I guess we'll see. Uh, apart from that, the missions, I think, they bring a new element into TF2. We haven't really seen anything like this since MVM, and I think it's a good change. It's obvious, like, the missions obviously aren't a new, I a new idea. It's, it's pretty obvious where they, quote, stole the idea from, because they didn't really steal. But it's still cool. Maybe it's me sucking at CSGO, but I find the missions way easier than the ones in CSGO. It's pretty much just kill X amount of people, and you're done. Well, maybe it's because three quarters of my missions were just class missions, wanting X amount of points, and getting 20 points for defending the point. But, I don't know. And the other one was just... um the cold thing, one of the map missions, so that wasn't really hard either. But I heard that some of the other ones were like air blast, a certain amount of rockets or whatever, so I don't know, maybe I was just lucky, mine were easy. The missions do make you try new things though, because for my class ones I got heavy and spy, which consist of two of my bottom three last least played classes. Heavy it's there for a reason. I, I don't really think Heavy's that fun, and it was not that fun. But I had a blast playing Spy. I haven't played Spy for like more than five minutes, for maybe, I don't know, one or two years now. And I was actually decent back then. I I believe I was pretty decent. And I give, But giving it another try now, it's pretty cool. Because I haven't tried it for so long. And the fact that Valve delays the missions, like, you can't, you can't do them all at once. They release a new one every few days or whatever. I think it's for a reason, though. I don't think it's just random. I think that it's because they want people to come back to TF2 on a, on a consistent basis. Not just, yeah, let's just do all the missions in t three hours, and I'm done. I'm done with TF2. No, they want they want people to actually stay with TF2, and then maybe like besides the missions, get, get back into it. Maybe like that might be my case. I don't know. And if for some reason you didn't buy the passes for whatever reason, maybe you didn't have the money. I I still think if you could, if you had the money, it was worth it. Because at first the crates you get from the missions were going for like double the price of the actual pass. So, basically, it costs negative money, if you were lucky enough to get a case. But, like, even me, I didn't get my first case till yesterday. And it was still worth six bucks Canadian, with the pass being 750. I, I unboxed it like an idiot, but the point is, I could have easily made my money back. People say profit's hard to come by, but it's, like, right in front of, right in front of you. You just have to kill five... 20 people, and you're done. People say Valve has stopped caring about TF2, and well, I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but, you know, at least they still update it. You know, like, once a year. That pretty much wraps it up, though. So, until the next one, I'll see you guys. Bye!